Good morning, good morning, good morning. Day number two, um, might as well keep going, right? Keep trying it, keep seeing what we can do. Uh, I did, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I forgot my glasses, uh, I'm pretty sure, at the facility, so I'm an idiot. But I do need them for distance, um, and I could actually tell, like, it's just one of those things, like, like I can tell pretty bad. I, I have very bad vision. It is what it is, you know? I don't wear them while gaming, side note about me. You know, let me actually, let's actually talk about this for one second. <laughs> I do not wear my glasses while I game. I probably should. It would be a smart idea to. The reason why I don't is because I don't like many variables. I basically tried wearing them back in 2018. I basically just didn't like the variable of like, if, if I'm playing bad or like maybe I'm uncomfortable in the main stage for whatever reason, I just don't like the idea or the feeling of being able to be like, man, like these glasses with the headphones, like I just, I don't feel good. I'm not, you know, I just, I want to get on the main stage. I want to feel comfortable. I know that's like super, super head case, but the thing that I've noticed kind of throughout my um, lifetime is I just saw my glasses across the room. Hold that thought. Much better. I was so tired last night. I must've just dropped them somewhere. I dropped them by my hoodie. I couldn't see, it, see them all morning. It is basically to make sure I have as little variables as possible when I'm competing. Play like I play at home. Um, and that is gonna make me my most comfortable. I know that's really, really dumb, but I don't know. Maybe someone can relate to that. Maybe you guys feel the same. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Um, obviously you probably like should wear your glasses if your doctor tells you to. Um, but I don't know, it is what it is. I wear them pretty much all the time for the most part. Uh, let me show you guys the room, and then we gotta get going. We're gonna go to the gym. Side note, I'm not taking you to the gym. We're not at that level of vlogging yet, okay? We're not there yet. Um, this is the room, it's really, really nice. Obviously, Sen hooks us up here. Kitchen area, uh, little, little living room area. Nice big TV, not that I went onto it. Okay, you guys tell me in the comment section below, when you travel, and they have a big TV, and they want you to log into Netflix, do you use it? I'm not even saying like, I don't use the Netflix because I don't wanna log in or I don't wanna give my info to whoever or whatever. Um, I am literally so lazy that I just don't wanna type it in. But I don't know, let me know. Let me know if you do the same thing. Maybe tonight, I change it. Uh, what you know about that? You feel hydration, uh, bed, obviously that's where we sleep. This is the bathroom, Yeah. you know? Not a bad spot. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm really, really comfortable overall in hotels. Um, I miss. I miss home. I love being home, but you know, can't complain about the hotel we get put up in. Probably gonna order some groceries. I don't normally order groceries or really get anything for the room, but since we're gonna be here for such a long-ish period of time, and we got the fridge and we can cook, probably makes sense. Uh, off to the gym. Need to get a quick workout in. Scrims aren't until like. 6 p.m. tonight or something like that. We might double scrim, we might double scrim. We don't normally, but because we're all here. Now, when it comes to pre-workouts and stuff like that and caffeine, I try to be pretty careful. Um, look, I'm a gamer. I drink a lot of caffeine throughout a day. I try to get the recommended amount. I try to not go over that, but uh, I do drink G Fuel basically throughout the day. Um, usually, I try to save it for when I'm gaming. I try to do things that I would do at an event. So G Fuel, for example, I'll drink uh, before I scrim because I'm likely at a tournament. I have really easy access to G Fuel or like, you know, even a cup of coffee or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, pre-workout, ready to go. Uh, the one thing that I do need to do is I need to go to a different hotel. That sounds like it's really annoying, but they're actually connected. We're supposed to stay at one hotel. We got moved over to another. So it's really, it's really not that big of a deal. That's what we're working with for the week. Nothing too big, nothing too small. I mean, honestly, um, one, I made a fatal mistake today. I did not remember my headphones, but no point in walking back. I also shouldn't have worn my glasses because I don't wear my glasses when I work out. Um, I'm a mess. 10.05, I 
I have like 30 minutes to get a workout in, then I gotta get back, shower. And we gotta go. So, goodbye. All right, workout pretty much finished. Did like a 20, 25 minute uh, circuit, you know, it's okay. It's hotel living, hotel gym. Yeah, back to the room, shower. We gotta get going, we gotta get gaming. Vlogging mistake 101. When walking or recording, always pay attention where you're going. I almost absolutely ripped through a door and hit someone in the face with it. But anyway, back to it. Now, on the topic of streaming, there's been a big shift in gaming in general. Uh, I love streaming. I could definitely see myself at some point when I stop competing, trying to be a streamer or whatever. The only way to do that is by doing it now. That's hard to do when you're competing. You know, a 17 game scrim, uh, two hours of odd review, usually, you know, personal life, all that stuff in. I mean, you know, it's, it can be a little bit complicated, a little bit difficult, but um, the one thing that is very, very good, the one thing that is very, very good about gaming now on the shift is, when you used to travel and go to an event, you would basically have to lose all progress. You'd be done streaming for like a week, you come back, you'd be like, oh my God, you know, everyone's forgot about me. You get a little bit of FOMO. Um, but the cool thing now with the shift that has happened is you basically get to stream pretty much anywhere you go for the most part. Uh, other than maybe like a live event, it could be, it's not like you really can. I think that's kind of like next step for Halo. Maybe when we get like a, Battle Royale or Slash if the game multiplayer like pops off. Um, maybe that's something that'll change, but I feel like, you know, I've seen like a lot of the Valorant guys, like, you know, the reference to Send Valorant team. I've seen them go to like Iceland, for example, and they get to stream the whole way up until like the day that they play. And then even when, when they play, Sometimes they'll go and stream at night, and I think that that's a really good thing for the gaming scene. Um, it could be a lot on the players, and it could be a lot on the teams and everything, but I don't know. Just kind of a side note, um, I think with Halo, it's not as if we're like the biggest streamers in the world, um, other than like, you know, some of the guys on Optic. Obviously, I think Frosty's a really big streamer, Lethal when he does stream. Um, you know, I do okay, right? I got some good numbers. I love my community, but we're just not the biggest, probably because we don't stream as often, but I think that um, as Halo grows, this is year one, as we grow and progress and just kind of keep pushing, you know, and we'll see what happens with the game, I think that that's a really big part of it. Okay, we have to go. I told Sean I'd be there. Um, Sean is our manager. Um, you guys will meet him. I think some of you might know him. Um, he's a really big part of the Halo scene. He runs uh, Paradise Paradise Halo. Is that the right? I think that's the right way to say it. They do awesome content. You can check them out. Uh, obviously, Sean also works for Halo. Funny story uh, that is somewhat of the way that we basically got to be um, on Sentinels. Is Sean is a big fan of Halo. Sean worked for Sentinels. Um, he has a whole bunch of roles. I don't want to like misspeak on what he does. And one of the things he does now is he manages us, the Halo team. Probably one of the busiest people I've met, but I am late and I feel really bad. But we were really tired this morning and had to fit in a workout. Uh, I don't need my headphones or things at the facility. And um, Sean's been here since the 18th of July, obviously for the Valorant team, because he does stuff for them as well and content and every, it's just literally everything. I can't say enough how much he does. And I feel bad because, you know, he's probably missing home. I don't know, but I assume so. You know, I know I would be, right? He's been here since 18. So the fact that I'm running late, I feel a little bad. I don't want to keep him waiting. He was nice enough to give me a ride. The facility's not far, but we're in Texas and it's hot. So need need to drive. Morning, Sean. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so nothing's really happened uh, since we saw Sean. Sean's right there, he's gaming a little bit before he's working. Um, I've just been uploading the vlog this whole time. Uh, note to self, 
sending it via Gmail or Google Drive or whatever is not the way. I had to make like three different emails to get all of the different uh, footage up. Uh, I have a feeling it'll, it'll be a lot less going forward since we're gonna be um, playing every day and scrimming every day and for the most part I'm just gonna be streaming out endless hours. So I'm gonna do my best with it. Um, but this is what we got right here. We're about ready to we're about ready to go live. I told you, it's a problem. Do the same thing, drink coffee, drink cheap fuel, keep it moving. Oh, can't do the tour of the facility um, just yet because they have like, it's really cool. They have like groups of kids here, like touring it and stuff like that. I'm not 100% what's happening, they were touring it. Um, so I'm gonna wait to record. I think they leave in a few hours. So we'll just go show you guys around then. And uh, it'll be right before scrim, so it'll be a nice little break. Get up, stop streaming show you around and then uh, scream time. But time to stream, probably like four or five hours. See you then, I'll see you there. Peace. What up Skeleton? Uh, I'm gonna be pretty bad at reading chat today guys, just so you know, because I am on a one piece setup, one PC setup, and I am having a, um, what was I gonna say? I just, you know, one PC, no dual monitor. Guys, we gotta go way faster than this, come on. Come on, you're representing Halo right here. Like, you, we gotta go faster, come on. There we go, come on, keep it moving. George, type faster, come on. Why did Jillian put a question mark? <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna be done streaming. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna be done streaming. Uh, I wanna take a break before scrims, but much love, appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in, take care. Be safe, be well. Later, later, later. Got APG, green wall, vlog. Ooh. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys.